Hello HP Touchpad users, today I want to tell you about the Evervolve ROM, check it out here in the XDA Developers Forum, and thank Flintman the OP. Now this is an Android open source project ROM, it runs Android 4.2.2, so this is an alternative to running CyanogenMod 10.1 on the HP Touchpad. Now what's great about this is there's nightly builds, check it out here, you can find all the detailed information and notes and links to the nightly builds. So great to see a little diversity with our ROMs. Uh, these aren't available through Goo Manager, but you can get them all here. Now, interesting note about this is OP Flintman made a little headway with the Bluetooth, and he told us about this, and he says, don't expect anything soon, but it's absolutely just great to see any progress on this whatsoever, because none of the signage and mod 10.1 Android 4.2.2 ROMs for the HP Touchpad have Bluetooth at the moment, so it would be great to see this in the future, and he's made a little headway improving the battery life. We're going to talk about that in a moment. Now, if you head over to Roots Wiki, I've got a thread talking about all the CyanogenMod 10.1 Android 4.2.2 builds on the HP Touchpad. Common question I'm asked is, what is the difference, you know, compare these different ROMs? So I put together all the information, and you can find a little summary of each ROM and links to the threads. So come check that out and have a little peruse, try the different ROMs, and say thank you to all our great developers. Today we're talking about the Evervol ROM. So it has a medium to high battery drain. Minus 60 is about the average you'll see, but if there's some heavy spiking to 100 or above, I'd say about an average of 90. Now it supports hardware video acceleration right off the bat. There's nightly builds. And another great feature is the audio plays with the screen off. If you listen to a lot of music like me, you might have found that the audio goes beep and everything stops when listening to music with a lot of the signage and mod 10.1 ROMs. Well this doesn't happen here and it's absolutely great to be able to listen to music freely again. Uh, now the camera works in this build, great news, but it's responsible for the high battery drain that we're seeing. So there's a bit of a trade-off but if you need to use the camera it's definitely worthwhile for you. So come check it out and of course there's no Bluetooth. So let's show you a little bit of the features now. a little music playback. Screens off, works fine. So that's great to see. Next up, the camera is fully working. Let me just switch on a light because it's dark in here. Oh, there we go. Great to have the camera fully functional. You can take pictures, do all your stuff. Great to have that all back and working again. Thank you. I'm going to show you a clip of how to play Return to Castle Wolfenstein on your Android device. This is an HD video. It's 11 minutes long. We're going to skip forward, so it's going to test our Wi-Fi as well. Let's see how quick it loads. That was pretty fast. I'm going to show you how to play this with HD textures, HD sounds, different character models, different gun models, so great customizable stuff. All you need is a free app from the Play Store and the game data. I run it entirely on the HP Touchpad. So it'll be a great game for HP Touchpad users to try out. And yeah, loading pretty good, running HD videos. Try it out for yourself. Here you can see some of the differences with the new textures. A little game to play on the touchpad. Oh yeah. Come check it out in the forums. You can check out my summary and guides on all the builds. And don't forget to hop over to the XDA Developers Forum and thank Flintman for this great build. Please subscribe to see the latest in Signage and Mod 10.1 and Android 4.2.2 builds on the HP Touchpad. Thanks for watching everyone.